But first, SpaceX launched its first Crew Dragon on a Falcon 9 rocket on Saturday, a launch successful enough to make CEO Elon Musk emotional. Take a look. So it's been 17 years to get to this point, from 2002 to now. Um, and uh, incredible amount of uh, hard work and sacrifice from a lot of people that uh, have gotten to this point. Um, and uh, yeah, to be frank, I'm, I'm a, a little emotionally exhausted because uh, uh, that was super stressful, but it worked. <laughs> I actually have no way to relate to that. I, I've never really had to do anything in my life that's stressful. But the launch is one of many as SpaceX prepares to carry NASA astronauts as early as July. Here to discuss this more with us is retired NASA astronaut Tom Jones via Skype. Tom, thanks for being here. Uh, i got to ask you first, though, what did you think of this successful uh, mission by SpaceX? <laughs> it's, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it's been seven years since NASA put the space shuttle to bed, and now it's uh, time to replace the U.S. human spaceflight capability that we've been lacking for these seven years. We've been under this Russian monopoly, and to finally get now on the threshold of having the U.S. able to launch its own astronauts again from Florida to the space station is a big, big step forward. Very important. Well, you mentioned, I mean, it's been almost a decade since the U.S. has been able to do that in terms of putting astronauts uh, up into space. But in, in terms of seeing SpaceX take this step, what does it mean uh, when, we're, when we're able to kind of offload that and NASA can focus its efforts uh, elsewhere? So NASA's giving up uh, the, the transport job from the Earth to low Earth orbit where the space station is to these two commercial companies, SpaceX and Boeing, in the coming year. And that will give NASA the freedom to have some price competition, have two suppliers for reliability, and also frees up funds for the development of the deep space systems, the uh, big space launch system booster and the Orion spacecraft that will take humans to the moon again in the early 2020s. So this is a, a major step to give NASA the freedom, the elbow room it needs to proceed out into deep space. They're technically not out of the woods yet as they're going to try and uh, land this baby later on this week. So what are your thoughts there in terms of seeing a full, complete mission? Well, it's not over till it's over. And uh, fortunately, the SpaceX company has demonstrated for the last seven years uh, its Crew Dragon transport spacecraft, uh, cargo transport unmanned. And it's been parachuting back to Earth regularly a couple, three times a year uh, with great success. So I think the okay. derivative design from the cargo to this human transport will probably give us some good odds that the Crew Dragon will come back safely off the Florida coast on uh, Friday. Got it. Awesome. And what do you just think about the, the symbolism of this mission overall? Like you said, it's been nearly a decade since we've had something similar. What do you think this portends for, uh, you know, SpaceX and for NASA and for just space travel, uh, you know, going forward? The big picture is, is that uh, we can now commercialize low Earth orbit. Perhaps uh, we'll see a commercial section of the space station built in the coming uh, five years or so. And this frees up NASA to hire commercial services to even transport cargo to lunar orbit and eventually commercial landers to the surface of the moon. So we're going to see orbital tourism. We're going to see uh, a growth in the economy in space away from just transmission of, of satellite signals to industrial manufacturing, to research, uh, and even commercial tourism to the surface of the moon. All right. Tom Jones, optimistic on what it means for all of us. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. You're welcome.